Okay, hello, Tennis Anyone students. Hey, Coach Bill here with my son, Jackson. He's one of our middle children. We have five kids. I think I've mentioned that before. Hey, stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to actually teach you how to juggle. But this is going to be lesson two for in home study, distance learning. Remember, keep that space of at least 60 feet <laughs> between people. And at any rate, so we're going to be going through the backhand today. We're going to start off, I'm going to have Jackson do a little stretching. So just go ahead and do a couple of stretches, son. And keep in mind, when you have a young child, the stretching, when they're young, it's more of a formality. Um, they should still stick to holding a stretch for 15 seconds, and they should do um, upper body to lower body. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to have Jackson do a couple of stretches. But really what you're trying to do is you're trying to build good habits. Say hello to the tennis of one dog. Moses, sit. Moses, shake. Always good having Moses. The one thing that you can count on with these Tennis Anyone at home videos is that there will be unannounced distractions. <laughs> Guaranteed. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do a couple of coordination building drills that are hand-eye or racket eye drills, and I'm gonna demonstrate and then I'm going to have Jax do them too. We're building on where we left off last, uh, the last couple of weeks, so they're gonna be more difficult. So we're gonna start off with down flips. So these are down flips. Now notice, we're flipping the racket. Jax is flipping the racket. Moses is always wanting to get in on the action. Here you go, Jax. All Moses. right, so these are down flips. And notice the racket is actually spinning in my hand. All right, again, much more difficult. Go ahead and do that one more time much more difficult than just the regular down. And that's okay, the idea is that we want to we want to build and we want to make things progressively more difficult. All right, are you ready for the up flip? Are you at home ready for the up flip? All right, I'll demonstrate. The up flip, my son is saying he's not ready. He's only played tennis about 30,000 hours so far in his life. <laughs> Let's see the up flip. But I don't know if he's done too many up flips. Let's see it. I've only done regular ups. Okay, he's done regular ups. And downs. So, so this is actually a really good one for you to practice. Again, if your child is running all over the living room, not safe. Bring him back to just regular ups if he's having a difficult time and build up to up flips, all right? I've been playing for about 40 years now, so I've had a chance to project, uh, I've perfect my up flips. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the backhand stroke now. And what I want you to notice is I want you to notice a couple of things. First of all, from ready position with two hands on the racket, the racket's gonna pull straight back. It's not gonna move in a loop, it's gonna pull straight back. And I call this position right here my six o'clock. Again, this is 12 o'clock. Six o'clock, window, I call this the window. Window is closed and the tip of the racket is pointing up to the heavens. So, six o'clock, window closed, tip to the heavens. That's my starting point. Two-handed stroke, finishing over the shoulders, making sure that those elbows get off the body and do not let go. Keep two hands on the racket, and when you're done, you should be finishing right here. I know I'm talking away from the camera, but hopefully you can hear that. So Jax, go ahead and demonstrate backhands over and over and over without a ball. Okay, over the shoulder, son. Okay, good. And notice I'm going to be doing some correcting. And parents at home, it's important for you to do correcting. It's very important that you do correcting. Ready position? Okay, show me your ready position. Okay, so racket heads already up. Pull straight back in here, straight back. Good. Now hold it, hold it. So we're looking for the six o'clock. Windows closed. Tip of the racket up to the heavens. Go ahead and swing through. Good, good, good. Yes. Make sure that you're practicing this in a room where you keep the cheap china plates. Here we go. Do not keep your expensive plates in the room where you're working this drill. And freeze the finish. Go ahead and freeze the finish at the end. Stop, finish, all the way over the shoulders. Okay, good, I'm gonna make sure that the elbows are way off the body, and just like on the forehand, he's gonna kiss his bicep. All right, wash that mouth afterwards, son. All right, so that's the backhand ground stroke. Uh, what I'm gonna assign a homework on is to do 50 backhands a day, added on to the 50 forehands every day. I'm literally sweating. Are we in a real class out here? <laughs> it feels like it. All right, so here's the last thing. We're gonna do a couple of coordination building drills. So let me grab these two right here. 
Jax, you're not going to need your racket. I'll grab that one as a, as a backup. All right, and I'm just going to have him move side to side, and I'm going to do kind of a bounce pass to him. And he's going to move and catch with one hand. Okay, bounce it back. Okay, bounce, catch it with the other hand. Catch with the other hand. Right handed catch. Good, left handed catch. Okay, awesome. All right, now go ahead and back up just a little bit. All right, on three, we both toss to each other. Do not hit in the middle. One, two, three, toss. Good, one, two, three, toss. Again, we're building up coordination. We're building up hand-eye. We are working on becoming better athletes, better all-around athletes, because the name of the game is you can't learn if you're not gonna miss. So you gotta keep going, keep going, keep going. Miss, 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 grow, grow, grow. Miss, 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 grow, grow, grow. Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to juggle really quickly. I learned when I was in seventh grade, and here is the most important thing. You, if you can do this, you can juggle. And I know you can do this. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing with two balls now in one hand. All I'm doing is I'm tossing the ball. That's all I'm doing. The timing is important. When you first are learning how to do this, you won't be able to time it. Keep practicing. You can learn how to juggle in a day. Once you get one hand down, adding a second hand, a third ball, it's actually really easy. You'll start with two balls in one hand, and you toss, and you go. And you toss, and you go. I'm looking forward to this quarantining, quarantining, <laughs> teening coming to an end at some point. But in the meantime, we want you practicing at home. Uh, Jax. Yes. You, you did awesome. Fantastic. Great presence. Great backhands. You miss being on the tennis court? Yes. Awesome. That was the right answer, by the way. We can edit it out if it's not the right answer. Thank you, guys. Keep working hard. Tennis anyone. Good stuff.